Want some Maniac for Brick swag in your life? Then check out my Teespring store with the link in the description below or on the screen right now. So you can check out the latest of merch in all different designs and different colors. All the support will go back into the channel to make some more awesome videos for you guys. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. It's time. It's Maniac for Bricks, and we're here today with another mail haul. So, uh, since we're in the month of October, I thought it was only appropriate that we try to make a slasher perspective thing. And, uh, yeah, I've already had that for a while as a Halloween costume and then as a fun thing for Philly Brick Fest. But, moving on, a whole bunch of packages here from Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and a friend of mine from Instagram. So, starting thing off with the bag. Uh, so, starting things off with the big package. This is from Facebook, kind of Facebook Marketplace. Um, somebody had a various amount of Nerf Blasters they were willing to sell and um, came up with the prices to make it all packed and nice and easy. These were a few that I was interested in for a while and saw only some people talking about them, but I wanted to give it a try for myself. So, in here, we have a Koosh Blaster. I have a couple of these already. The Solar Recon, which I don't remember seeing a lot of reviews for it. Maybe one or two at the point of recording this video. But I wanted to try it out for myself. Because I do like the Ball Blasters. I like to test them out every once in a while. And this one, I believe, has glow-in-the-dark elements to it. And we even have some glow-in-the-dark Koosh Balls. So it loads them in the side, the back, and it fires when you pull it back. Like you see right there, I even hit myself with it. So, I'll do more with this in its own video later down the road. Next item we have here is a Zombie Strike Bio Squad. I think it's called either the Eraser or something else. But this is a type of blaster from Nerf where they're supposed to have these... Um... Oh, okay, there we go. That explains what this wrapping is. Um, they had only a handful of Zombie Strike blasters where they incorporated Silly String into it. So a separate pole of a trigger would actually launch Silly String out the front, and you would still have some room for darts. So this one actually launches the darts like so. You could fit the Silly String on top, and you also could have a water bottle in the back. Fortunately, this one didn't come with a water bottle, but it still did have a can of zombie repellent, as they call it. Several other cans can work with this. I will test them out at some later time when I do the review for this. But for now, you can see all that together. I don't think it's going to be that great for a dart blaster, though. Most people have said it's more for the silly string than anything. But we'll see how that all goes. And surprisingly, trigger is a little odd. It keeps pulling itself back. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that, if it's supposed to. But I'll try it out some later time. And then we have something that I've wanted to get my hands on for quite a while. And surprisingly haven't already. <laughs> Even through various Nerf lots that I've gone through, we have the Nerf End Strike Elite Rapid Strike. A beloved flywheel blaster in the community. Something that I've wanted to try out for myself. And had some fun ideas if I wanted to customize this, paint it up, and use it for some other uh, Nerf, you know, loadouts and things. An adjustable stock in the back of it. It's flywheel, so I need to add some uh, batteries to test out the motor. I believe it's still stock, and, you know, basic functions that other flywheel blasters have 
but a neat design and something that most people are uh, take a liking to, whether it's in stock form or modified. So I'm trying that out with some other blasters at a later time. Then we'll move things on to one of the smaller packages I showed before. I just thought it would be funny just brushing them out of the way and trying to get to the real like horror movie aesthetic. So this is a package I got from Sticker Mule to try out some of their prints for different stickers. Um, not that I can't get them through Teespring, I can. I just wanted to see a new design in an a easy way. They had a good deal going, so I uh, took a look at this. And so far, um, these are actually pretty neat. So I already opened up the pack for the stickers themselves, and they come out pretty nicely. Uh, this is for a new design that I created myself. Didn't have to get a commission this time around. Um, from everybody's favorite you-know-who. <laughs> But, uh, I wanted to try something on my own, come up with a design, I was able to make it, um, through the computer, and then be able to print it on the, on the stickers, as you see here. So, this may come out at a later time through Teespring or another merchandise option, um, but for now, I like what I'm seeing. This, uh, this looks pretty good, at least for the dry run of it. Got ten copies of it, and they all were pretty consistent. So, I think the only thing I saw different between any of them was that one or two had like a weird thing on the back of them. I think it was just a sticky thing. It easily rubs off. It's not affecting the sticker itself as far as adhesive or whatever is on the outside of it. I think this one was only like a little scuffed, but again, it's going to be peeled off, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah, I have these around as a thing, and you may see them coming to a merch store near you. So, check the link in the description below, and I'll definitely do some kind of... Uh, Update about that if I use it on other merch places. I have actually had that design on Twitter for a while. If you follow me through there, you've probably seen that as my icon uh, for over a week now. And there's also a starter pack in here just to get another idea of how the stickers can be made and different textures with them. Um, and there's also a couple of magnets in here, so it just gives me more options if I wanted to go that way. So. For now, this was kind of fun to try out another option um, for trying to print stuff, but um, we'll have to wait and see if I will uh, develop this much further. And I have a lot of other designs in store, so stay tuned for more information on other designs, especially around the month of October. I want to try to make some uh, creative designs of my own for the month of Halloween, because it is a month, it is not just the holiday. Some people treat it for the whole month. So yeah, I'm just going to put that monkey off to the side. We have another package here. This, I believe, is from eBay, if I recall correctly. It's got an interesting packing around it, which I didn't think was going to cut it first when I did that intro, so uh, yeah. But yeah, okay, this was from eBay. This was something I was looking for for a little while with Nerf. I didn't really see a lot of people covering it. I know that I can't really cover it right now unless I can find a computer from the early 2000s to run it more properly, because compatibility mode doesn't always work on a modern PC, but it's still a nice, you know, unusual nerf item to have that I thought, well, it would be cool to talk about at some point. I like being a collector of nerf as much as a player and uh, eventually becoming a modder of nerf. So we have here... The Nerf Junior Foam Blaster CD-ROM playset featuring Attack of the Kleptons. This came out in the late 90s in a very uh, sun-bleached front of the box there. And hopefully you can make out some of those details. Um, but the idea with this is that you would have a blaster uniquely made for just this game. I don't think it actually shoots darts. It's supposed to be a light gun sort of thing. Um, connects to your computer. There's also a CD in there where you play a CD-based game with a very cartoony graphics, and you use this Nerf gun in order to fire on the screen. So, I thought it was a neat idea. Nerf has done a couple of different unusual uh, game-related products that you might see sometime soon on the channel, outside of just the standard blasters. And I'm trying to find a year for this thing. 1999. That's when this came out. So I think this was a little after the time that they made Nerf Arena Blast, which is, in my opinion, my favorite of any Nerf video game ever, um, which was in around the mid-90s. So, there we have that as well. 
We've also got a package here from someone I've met on Instagram, had some great conversations with, and she lives over in Australia. So thank you very much to, uh, to Jess from, from Australia. She found this when she was, I believe, at an aquarium, and they just happened to have an exhibit where this was used. So I uh, didn't want them to get wet or bent. Enjoy. I appreciate a lot of the packing in this and the do not bend on it. Happy mail day, friend. Yay. <laughs> I like it. A nice personal message is on both sides of the package. So when I open this up, I will get to show you guys more of what it's about. It's something I haven't actually seen from other people, even over here in the States. And you know me, I got to love that, uh, the bizarre Lego, the unusual Lego products and, uh, just different things that turn up every once in a while that just have the Lego logo on them. This is a pair of 3D glasses, which are basic on their own right, but it has, as you see on the front of it, a shark minifigure. It says on the uh, side of it, Sea Life Melbourne, which was the aquarium where these came from. Also an advertisement for Legoland Discovery Center along the side. And on the back of it, it mentions a $5 off coupon that is available with your next visit. I guess you have to bring the glasses? Which is weird because, at least over here, when they have 3D exhibits and things... Oh, 4D. Also says 4D on the back here. When they have 3D exhibits and things, you usually have to return the glasses when you're done. Even when you're watching a movie... There's usually a bin for them, so it's surprising that uh, over in Australia, in the land down under, they had these uh, available to take home. So, it was pretty cool. Lens and card material is recyclable. Warning, not saleable for children under 36 months. Use a small parts, joking hazard. 3D glasses only. Do not look at the sun. Very important. And there's also information on the other side about the $5 of coupon, how that can be used. So yeah, a nice little piece of Lego merchandise. So there we have everything from the mail today. We have several Nerf Blasters for me to try out, and at some point you'll probably see reviews for them. We have a Nerf PC game. Well, as long as I get a computer running it, I can test out the game itself. But for now, it's just a fun collectible item from Nerf. We have a couple of stickers for a new logo that I've been developing for a while. And we've got some LEGO 3D glasses because, again, part of the collectability. Thank you for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time with more LEGO and Nerf related videos.